Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Jessica, and thank you so much for clicking on this video and checking it out. This is just going to be a question and answer video, a get to know me video. So I'm wicked excited. This was my number one requested video ever on my channel. So um, I had set up an anonymous question page and I had it linked in my previous video and I also promoted that on all of my social media. So if you're following me on those, then you definitely knew about it and you guys did ask me questions. So thank you guys so much for all of you who did ask me questions. There were also a few questions in the comments in previous videos, which I will answer also. And just questions that I get asked a lot, like on a daily basis. So some of it will be personal and some of it will just be fun and weird and me. So I'm really excited to film this video. It is pretty nerve wracking at the same time though because I am putting myself out there to the entire world. So yeah, it is it is a little bit nerve wracking. So hopefully you guys do not judge me and you enjoy this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. How old are you? I am 22 years old. In five days, I will be 23. Where do you live? I live in Massachusetts. I live in one of the suburbs outside of Boston on the South Shore. What is your favorite TV show? So my favorite TV show is definitely right now, definitely New Girl. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but um, it is such a hilarious show. I just think it's so funny. The main character's name is Jess, and I, like, literally feel like this character is me. Like, I have the strongest, strongest connection to this character. It's, like, unbelievable, and um, it's played by Zoe Deschanel, which is one of my favorite actresses. I love her. I think she's just such a good, genuine person, and she can play, like, any role. She normally plays the role that, like, I would play, like, if I was in a movie, like, the crazy, like, um, like, clumsy girl. I think she's so talented, and that show is just everything. It makes you feel really good after you watch it and while you're watching it, and I think that it's really well written, and yeah, I love it. <laughs> What is my biggest fear? My biggest fear is hands down jellyfish. Like I cannot do jellyfish. I cannot see them. Even if it's in a movie, like I have like severe, like severe anxiety over jellyfish. Like it's on another level. It's definitely not normal, like in any means. But um, pretty much I think it stemmed from me getting stung really, really bad in Canada. I was, um, I was at Cavendish Beach in Prince Edward Island one day, which is a gorgeous beach. Um, and I was swimming and you know how they have like the roped off like areas in the ocean where like the lifeguards watch? Well, I was swimming in like that area because apparently the riptides are really bad everywhere else. All of a sudden, like this riptide came out of nowhere and started like pulling me under and it was absolutely terrifying. I was with my cousin at the time. It was really, really scary and I, instead of panicking, like I definitely was like freaking out, but I didn't panic. I just floated on top of the ocean waited for the riptide to like stop pulling me that's like what you're supposed to do in case you guys didn't know like you're not sp you're supposed to get your feet up like not under the water so that's what I was doing and luckily I like always floated in the pool as a kid so like I know how to float I know some people like can't float but um yeah so that was terrifying and then right after that happened I put my foot like back down after I was like out of the riptide and closer to the shore and a jellyfish just came out of nowhere and stung my ankle but it was like it wasn't like a normal jellyfish it was like the um <clears throat> god I forget the name of them but like they have like 
really, really like, like their sting is like on real painful and it lasts for like months. Well, I got stung by one of those and that was probably the worst pain I've ever been in, in my entire life. And I had that pain for probably like three months and it was like just excruciating every single day. And like, I, like the doctors like were treating it and everything. And I was on like medication and stuff and like the medications like didn't even do anything. So it was kind of crazy. Can't, if I see them in the water, like if I see them at the beach in the summer, I'm out of the water for the rest of the day. Like not going back in. <laughs> like, so if you see a jellyfish, like don't tell me about it. Do not tell me about it. Just make sure that I get the hell out of the water before I see it. <laughs> Just, just a little tip. What is your ethnicity? So I am all white, <laughs> Irish, Scottish, German, Canadian, obviously American. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's what I am. I am very, very, very white. And it is hard for me to tan in the summer. I usually burn more often than anything. Um, but if I'm lucky, my sunburn will turn into a tan. So, yes, that is my ethnicity. What is your favorite quote of all time? My favorite quote of all time is, <clears throat> everything happens for a reason. And I feel like that's so cliche, but it's so true. Like, I live by that every single day of my life. And I think everything will be all right in the end. And if it's not all right, then it's not the end. That's another really good one. Um, and just be the change. I live by that every day too. And it's just a really important part of my life. It's to be the change and to, um, to give love in everything you do another one so yeah <laughs> getting all sappy over here what is your favorite color my favorite color is turquoise so like there's like I don't know I have like a ton of turquoise stuff in my room like I can't but it's like all on the walls and I don't really want to turn the camera over there because my room is looking a little bit insane but yeah it's pretty much like a you guys know what turquoise is right I don't know. I really like like this color blue, um, but it's more like it's this shade right here. That's the shade it is. That's turquoise, and yeah, I love it. It used to be pink when I was a teenager, but it's not anymore. And every single guy that asks what color, what my favorite color is, that are like it's pink, right? I'm like, no, <laughs> no, it's turquoise. And it's like never heard anyone say that before. It's like, eh, whatever. I like it. <laughs> Next question. Are you religious? Um, so I was brought up as a strict Catholic. I went to church every single Sunday up until about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, um, when I basically started working on Sundays. And I, I don't go to church like ever now. Um, and that definitely, definitely bothers my dad, which is who I always used to go with every Sunday. Um, but it is what it is. Like I work every Sunday, honestly, like I saw it as more of a chore going to church than anything. Like I didn't find that it made any difference in my life. I just didn't get anything out of it, honestly. Um, and that could be because I spent my entire life in private school and going to church every Sunday and being in the school masses and everything. I was in the, I was in the choir in high school. Um, so yeah, I had just been surrounded by that my whole life and it was just like, I don't know, it felt like something that I was forced to do rather than something that I wanted to do. Um, so am I religious? No, I 
I'm not religious. I say that I'm more spiritual than anything. I'm definitely spiritual. I do pray. Um, and, you know, I do, like, believe in, like, God, like, a higher power. Um, but I wouldn't say that I'm religious. I am so spiritual, though. Um, I'm huge on, like, meditation and, like, f like self-development and all that. Um, <clears throat> I'll go into, like, further detail in another video on that, but, um, mm, no, not really. <laughs> what is my favorite book? My favorite book is this one right here. It's called The Starch Solution by um, Dr. John McDougall. And yeah, I like reading nonfiction. Like I like reading educational books. Surprise, surprise. And this is one that I picked up because um, basically how to live like a healthy, like vegan diet. And I learned so much from this book. I think everyone should pick this book up. It is absolutely incredible. And yeah, I've just learned so much from it. And I also learned about the whole like oil free thing from this, which I'm obsessed with. Every single time I eat oil, I break out. So I also like try not to eat oil. Like I don't make anything at home with oil in it when I go out to eat different story, but typically I don't consume oil. And this book helped me learn about that. So if you're looking for a good book about like a vegan diet, like this book, or just like in general, even if you don't want to go vegan, you just want to be like a lot healthier. He is, like, so educated, and he knows everything about everything, and he's just amazing. So, check it out. <laughs> Where do you work? Do you do YouTube full-time or part-time? So, I sell fine fragrances right now at Macy's, and I've been with Macy's for four years in several different positions. Um, I did fitting room and recovery, which was basically just keeping the store clean like no clothes on the ground like make sure everything's organized everything's folded um check the fitting rooms take everything back to the department they belong in very um stressful stressful job so that was my first time my first like part-time job at macy's i was seasonal in fragrances like five years ago <clears throat> but i've been with the company for about four years in several different positions i was a um, lead supervisor for a while but I stepped down from that because it was just like basically they didn't want to give me a raise for the amount of work I was doing and it just wasn't gonna happen so that was a very stressful job and I learned a lot from that and um, I actually got employee of the year that year which was awesome but it just like it couldn't continue the way it was going so um, I actually switched to women's fragrances and I've been there for two years and um, I've had a great experience there um, it was so much it's definitely my favorite position I've ever worked in Macy's like by far um, it is commission but it's also hourly so um, yeah it is competitive but I think it was really good for me to experience that for many different reasons. Um, and also, I think it's crazy, and you're probably going to be like, why? But my one of my favorite parts of my job is dealing with rejection. And that's, like, probably, like, I deal with that more often on a daily basis than I do anything else. And it's so natural to me now that I'm just like, okay, like, whatever. <laughs> like, I don't take anything, like, seriously, like... Like, people, like, I remember when I, for example, when I first started, we have to, like, hand out cards to customer to, like, when they're walking by to try, like, the fragrance we're promoting or whatever. Um, I'm not a vendor, so I don't do that, like, on the regular. Like, I'm not, that's not my job. But when I first started, they wanted me to do that, like, just to get used to the whole environment. So <clears throat> I did that, and people would be like, no, like, get it out of my face, or like, no. Or, like, you're obnoxious, or, like, just, like, because I would be like, hi, do you want to try the new Tory Burch fragrance? And they'd be like, no. Or, like, not answer you, or, like, pretend that you're a literal statue, look at you, in disgust, look at you up and down, and keep walking. And it's just like, alright, like, 
cool. <laughs> and now I'm just like, I don't know. It's just, I feel like everyone in their life has issues dealing with rejection, whether it be at work or in a relationship or like a date or, or anything. And I think it's so important that people learn to conquer that and realize that like people like can do whatever they want but like you're confident in yourself and yeah so that was probably one of the my favorite parts of my job is dealing with rejection because now I'm just like I don't know I feel like it made me like so much happier I have no idea why what is the number one thing on your bucket list the number one thing on my bucket list is going to Bora Bora. Um, <clears throat> I get so many people ask me why I want to go there. It is literally probably the most gorgeous place I have ever seen, like according to pictures and videos. I actually think the first time I ever even saw Bora Bora was on the Kardashians, like back in the day when I would be obsessed with them in like high school. They had like a family trip to Bora Bora and I fell in absolute love with that place. So that's definitely number one on my bucket list. Like that's where I want my honeymoon, hands down. So yeah, Bora Bora, that's number one on my bucket list. Are you single in a relationship or married? I am single. <clears throat> yes, I am. Uh, first time I've been single in like six years and before that too so basically it's eight years <laughs> which is insane um but yeah i'm single and i am very happy do you want kids yes i absolutely absolutely 100 percent want kids one day nowhere even close to soon um definitely a long ways down the road for me i just like i'm not ready to commit my life to a child right now but definitely oh my god no questions asked I will be having kids one day do you plan to make YouTube your career um I would love that more than anything but it's just not realistic right now like at all um <clears throat> but if that happens one day like I will be the happiest person on the planet, like, definitely. Um, but, yeah, right now it's just not realistic, so I'm doing it, like, part-time, just, like, on the side. And, yeah, I don't really know what my life plan is, really. Like, I, I went to school. Um, this is another question. Like, did you go to school? Do you have a degree? Um, I went to school... And I got a bachelor's degree in business administration, and I concentrated in marketing, and I minored in economics. And I'm actually currently in an economics international honor society. Um, and I'll probably be in that for, like, the rest of my life. I pay every year to be in it, and I don't know, it's just I love, I love economics and stocks and just, like, all that. So, yeah, um... I did that and I still have the same job that I had when I graduated but I'm also not I don't wanna I know so many people that I graduated with that just jumped into the first job offer they got and they are so miserable right now <clears throat> so I knew that that wasn't gonna be me like I need to be happy I, I won't just work for any company. I have had offers, and people think that I'm stupid for not accepting some of them. But, like, I know that I would be so unhappy at these places. And, yeah, so I am just taking life as it comes right now. I'm not rushing into anything. I believe that everything will happen when it happens. And, yeah, so right now I'm... I definitely, like, want to move on from Macy's. Like, honestly... I do, but the the right, like, job hasn't come up yet. Um, I am looking, so we'll see, but, yeah, as of right now, YouTube could not be full-time for me. Um, I'm not making, like, money from it right now. I just started it, 
it will probably take years to even possibly happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just do YouTube because it is such a huge hobby of mine, like cosmetics, doing makeup, um, uh, and everything. And by the way, this is not like a just solely like beauty channel, like at all, by any means. And you can't really tell what my channel is yet because I don't have enough videos. And I honestly don't really know what my channel is yet. Like, um, we will see where it goes, but I just want it to be a bunch of different topics. Um, I actually had a poll and I asked people if they liked like niche, um, targeted pages or if they liked kind of spread out like different themed video, um, channels. And most people said that they liked like several different themes. So that's definitely what I'm going to try to do because I totally agree with those people. I like pages that um, can express more than one like aspect of their life and like their hobbies and their talents. So that's kind of what I plan on doing. I really want it to be like an educational page too um, because I'm passionate about so many different things and I kind of just want to share that with all of you so I'm really excited for that so we'll see where my YouTube channel goes hopefully it is a success so far it's been way more of a success than I literally would have imagined this year like I've already made my yearly goals like in two months um so it's really, really crazy, and I'm so excited and blessed, and yeah, I am. Um, it's pretty crazy. Like, one of my recent videos, like, just got, like, 20,000 views in, like, a month. It's just, like, oh my god, <laughs> like, so crazy, so crazy. So hopefully, like, things continue like that, and maybe one day it could be full-time, because I just really want to be able to help people. That's my whole point of being on here. I don't really care about like, I mean, obviously the money would be nice, but like, that's not like why I made a YouTube channel. I made it because like, I really, really want to try to make a difference and just help people. And yeah, so <clears throat> we will see. Another question I had was where can they buy like hormone free um, humane meat. Probably not going to like this answer, but you can't. You can't. And the reason why is because it is a marketing tool. Humane meat, artificial, um, no artificial hormones, blah, 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 blah. The friggin' animal dies the same way. Every time. They get shot to the head or slit on the throat and humans don't need animals to survive like to eat like they don't need it it's extra like people ate meat back in the day because they had no other choice like to go out and hunt that animal like they were on starvation mode so when you're on starvation mode yes like do whatever you need to do to survive. But we are not on starvation mode anymore. Like, you can go out, you can buy a ton of things that are not animal products and survive. You could be way healthier eating plant-based stuff rather than animal products anyways, so why wouldn't you? But, um, yeah, my answer to that question is you can't because the animal still is brought up the same way. They're, they're overfed, they're unhealthy, they have diseases, they're shot up with hormones. Um, it's just horrible and whether the package says that it's humane or it's um, grass-fed or blah 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 blah, it's still the same shit and I know that you're probably not going to believe me because I'm just saying this, but I plan on making videos specifically about this product because I get asked that by a lot of people and I have videos that prove it. Like, there is footage of, like, humane meat versus regular, like, traditional, like, meat. 
there's no difference and it's so crazy and you will see that video in the future so stay tuned with that do you like TV shows or movies more um I yeah all right so I don't really like watching movies that much um, I like watching documentaries like I love learning like I'm just a big learner like I just love education um, the way that I want it to be not the way that the system makes it but that's a total different video but um yeah I just love learning things and so documentaries all the way like over anything movies not so much uh, TV shows I think I like better than movies um, like New Girl, I'm obsessed with. Orange is the New Black is good. Um, Beats Motel is good. Mm, yeah, so those are pretty much the ones that I watch. Basically anything on Netflix. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. If I could only use one makeup product a day, what would it be? God. <laughs> um... Probably mascara. I would have to go with mascara. Yeah. Mascara. I just look so weird without mascara. So, yeah. That. <laughs> but it would have to be Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It would have to be. What is your sign? So, I am a Taurus. I am a bull. That's my sign. I don't really follow any of that stuff, but... Whenever I read, like, the, um, whatever they are, the messages of the day or whatever, they're, like, pretty much right every time, and I know that, like, everyone says that, that's why I don't really believe it, but, yeah, there, it is right, so, I don't know. Who is my favorite YouTuber? Um, I would have to say my favorite YouTuber is Kathleen Lights. She is just like, I think that if we met in person, we would be best friends. Like, we are so unbelievably similar, and she's just such a genuine person, and like, so nice. She's funny. Like, I don't know. She's just like the best. And if she ever watches this video, which will probably be never, I love you. But yeah, definitely Kathleen Lights. How are my New Year's resolution goals going that I talked about in my previous video? They are going actually very, very well. The only one that I would say um, just isn't a thing would be um, waking up at 7 a.m. every day. That hasn't been going very well just because I've been going out a lot and yeah. So that part, I guess I didn't really stick to, but everything else that I mentioned, I definitely still follow. And um, if you guys haven't seen that video, I really recommend it because I think you can learn a lot from it. And I don't know, it might just give you some good ideas on how to better your life. What is your most embarrassing moment of all time? <clears throat> This is really tough because I literally my entire life is one big embarrassment half the time. But I would have to say pretty much all of middle school because like it was just like something. It was really something. But probably in middle school the most embarrassing moment I had was I had like I think it was in the seventh grade I had the biggest crush ever on this kid. I have no idea why today. I have no idea why. But back then I did. And like full on butterflies every time he'd walk by. Like that type of like crush. And I was someone in middle school who just like <sighs> was like odd. Like I was very antisocial. I was in the corner all the time. Like in the back of the room. Because like I didn't want to talk to anyone. Like very like to myself. I had my very small group of friends. And... They were never, like, the popular kids. I always was just, like, so intimidated by them and, like, not really interested to ever really know them. And, yeah, so I was that person. And I was definitely a tomboy in middle school. Like, definitely. I had, like, bangs that just went, like, straight across my forehead. And 
like I didn't I was just getting into makeup in the seventh grade like didn't know how to do anything at all and I would just have like eyeliner just on the bottom with like mascara no face makeup no nothing and it was just like <clears throat> it was I didn't straighten my hair it was just really <laughs> a really weird time in my life so I had the biggest crush on this kid and um, my friend at the time I had actually st I had actually made a new friend in the seventh grade. I didn't really know how to feel about her. I just liked the fact that like she talked to like other people, so like I could be like somewhat social. So like I hung out with her, and like we'd go to her house and hang out, and it was always like fun. And so I told her that I liked this kid, and this was back when AIM was a thing. Um, I messaged him that night. Oh my god. And this is probably why I, I feel like girls are just like traumatized from moments like this for the rest of their lives. I mean, I'm totally over it now, but just like I am reliving the moment right now and it's pretty humiliating. So I like, I messaged him and he was like, um, I was like, do you like anyone in the class? And he was like, um, I don't know you, but he didn't like add a question mark at the end. So like I thought he said, I don't know, like you. And I was like, oh my God, like no way. I like you too. Like this is like, I can't believe it. I've liked you for so long. And he responded with, no, I meant like, how about you? And I was just like, that was the first conversation I had with him on AIM and I had to face him the next day after that. And my, this, the girl that I was friends with at the time, um, had been talking to him on AIM and he, um, she told me that she started to like him. So now, one of my close friends in the seventh grade now likes the same guy that I like, even though she knew that I liked him. Looking back, she's a fucking bitch, and yeah, I mean, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Looking back, she was just mean and not a good friend, but yeah, so at the time, I was just like such a pushover, like <clears throat> someone could like throw a sandwich at me and I'd be like, oh, sorry, like... <laughs> I don't know, like, I was, it was so bad. So, I just, like, never stood up for myself back then, and it was, it, looking back, I just want to, like, go back and tell myself, like, Jessica, like, stop being, like, a pushover. But, yeah, so, then, like, apparently, like, they had been talking for weeks, so, like, a month goes by, and I still have the biggest crush on this kid, and we've been talking on AIM or whatever, and he's also been talking to cat, uh, um, this other girl on AIM, and, um, I go into school one day, and there is a circle of my entire seventh grade class, like, I went to a private school, so we had, like, one, like, class, but we switched, like, like, um, rooms, like, for the different subjects or whatever. So, like, in the morning, we were all in one big classroom. <clears throat> and my entire class was in a circle. And, um, this girl that I was friends with was in the middle of the circle. And I, when I walked in the room, they're like, Jess, get in the circle. And I was like, what is this? And... It was the day that this kid was going to choose between me or her. Yeah, it was so messed up. And, um, he chose her, like, in front of everyone. Like, he's like, I pick, well, we'll call her Jamie. Like, we'll pick Jamie. And I was just like, uh, okay. <laughs> like, it it was bad, and everyone was, like, looking at me, like, aww, like, it was literally from a movie. It was traumatizing, absolutely traumatizing. So, yeah.
I feel like that's why I'm so glad that Macy's like forced me to overcome rejection because that that was definitely like the most embarrassing moment of my life like hands down definitely um and I also got rejected in middle school when I asked someone to dance with me and they said no <laughs> I was just like oh okay so yeah I, I've dealt with like a lot of rejection in my life believe it or not it was just yeah so now good as gold whatever I don't care if you don't like me <laughs> I have another embarrassing story and it happened recently um, it happened at work not not like last Christmas but the Christmas before um, I was in the food court <laughs> on my lunch break and um, I, I ordered like Sarku Japan like that to go like Asian like Japanese food restaurant and I sat down and there was an old woman like sitting in front of me and you know those like old like track suits like the Juicy Couture matching track suits or whatever well she was in one of those but it was like an Alfred Dunner one so like for like older people like my Nana wears them and um they're like they were wicked thin like immaterial and she I was just literally was sitting there about to take the first bite of food and, and then this woman just like bends over like right in my face and I was just like oh like okay like literally like I'm sitting here like the camera right here is literally her like she's right in front of me and she just bends over and just explodes everywhere <laughs> like like explosive diarrhea everywhere and I can laugh about it now guys but that moment I thought that I was gonna die like I literally thought that I was gonna die it was on my face it was in my food it was on the table it was everywhere all down her like pant legs like oh my god oh my god something on a movie and I had to go back to work after this like mind you so what does she do she like gets up she's like oh 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 my god and she like runs away like like walks like tries to run but like the old woman that like can't really run walk like into the bathroom and I'm sitting there in pure shock and this is like Black Friday or something it was like so busy in the mall and people are just staring at me with shit all over me and like I don't know how I didn't throw up I really don't know how I didn't throw up but I didn't and I wanted to like I was on the verge of I literally have never run so fast in my life like ever to the bathroom washed my face like and I had a full face of makeup on didn't even care did not even care that I'd go back to work like had my entire face like under the sink like <laughs> looks like a homeless person my shirt was like covered in shit and it was just it was just unreal and yeah people at my work still bring it up like on a daily basis and yeah so that's that's the type of stuff that happens to me <laughs> what is something that you like about yourself Something I like about myself, um, probably the fact that I am so open-minded and I wasn't always, which is crazy, but yeah, I am probably the most open-minded person you'll ever meet and I am so like not judgmental at all and I... I don't know I just have like respect for everyone and I just want everyone to have the same respect for me and sometimes it doesn't happen and it drives me absolutely crazy but yeah I'm just like an overall good person and that's what I would have to say that I like about myself <laughs> um, something that I don't like about myself that was the second part of the question um, probably um, I don't like how like anxious and paranoid I get sometimes um that's like a total separate video like that whole thing but 
yeah, I definitely, like, have some sort of, like, anxiety and, like, panic issues. <laughs> so I definitely don't like that about myself. Yeah, that would pretty much be it. <laughs> what do you want most out of life? I want to make a difference in the world or in just somebody's life. That's, like, my life purpose, I think. I want to help people. I won't be happy in life unless I'm helping people or educating people or just making a difference in some way. And I do make a difference. I make sure that I make a difference every single day by doing something. Um, and it's just like a huge thing with me. Like I have to, have to make a difference. That's the whole reason why I made YouTube in the first place. I want it to be a place that people can come to and feel comfortable. That's like my whole thing. Like I just want everyone to feel comfortable with me. Um, I just like, I hate, I hate knowing the fact or like feeling like people would feel awkward with me because I am the most like open, non-judgmental person and like, I don't know, I just like making like real connections with people and I just hope and wish that everyone would just feel comfortable with me. <laughs> That's just like a thing I have. I don't know. It, like, gives me, like, the worst anxiety knowing that someone doesn't feel comfortable, like, being around me. It's just, like, why? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, I don't know. <laughs> when you think of home, what do you think of? I think of this house, like, definitely because I've just spent my entire life here. But a home to me is somewhere where I feel completely safe and comfortable and I'm surrounded by someone who loves me and I love them unconditionally and <clears throat> just like a place that is mine and a place that I can share like amazing memories in and yeah that's home to me. What are you most scared of? I am most scared of like failing I guess at life like just like being unhappy I am so terrified of that because the, like all I want is to just be happy and like not finding the right job or like not finding the right person it just is like it freaks me out and I definitely have anxiety over it but I don't, like, think about it often. Like, I'm not, like, obsessed with, like, thinking that, like, I'm going to be a failure. Because I definitely don't think I will be. But that definitely is, like, a fear I have. Like, what if I, like, never find, like, the job that I'm meant to do? Like, what if I, like, don't succeed? Like, I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about, like, failure and being unhappy that really terrifies me. <laughs> What has been the greatest adventure of your life? Spring break of last year when I went with two of my girlfriends on a cruise to the Bahamas. That was, um, that was so much fun. And I just felt so unbelievably free on that trip, having no responsibilities, like, literally at all. Like, I didn't have to worry about driving anywhere. Like, it was just the most relaxing time I've ever had in my life and it was such an adventure like we did so many like cool things like we went kayaking in a swamp where there were like alligators it was just like it was crazy we went to Atlantis in the Bahamas which is on my bucket list so that was really really cool that I got to cross that off and yeah it was just like I I think probably my favorite memory from that trip was just I was by myself and um, there was like a hot tub on the cruise ship like on, t on top of the deck overlooking everything like all the water and everything and it was sunset and for some reason I have no idea how but I was up there like by myself like there was no one around and I was just like overlooking the ocean all you could see was water there was no land around and 
um, I had like a, like a pina colada in my hand or something. And I just like sat in the hot tub, like in just like complete and total 100% peace. And that was probably like one of my favorite moments of all time, honestly. And yeah. So yeah, that was really cool and definitely an adventure. What are you most proud of? I am most proud of YouTube, I think. And also my lifestyle, I'm very proud of. Um, <clears throat> Cause it definitely like when people are like, you're vegan, like it's so hard. It's like, for me, it's not hard at all because I have the education behind it and like knowing what I know makes me not want to ever even like, like I don't even think of some of the stuff that people eat as food anymore. Like I literally don't even see it as food, but I'm definitely proud of the fact that I am so open to watching like documentaries like that, like learning about things that will change my life and knowing that it will and not being too happy about it, but still doing it anyways, because I know that's the right thing to do. So I, I have a lot of pride in like the fact that I'm so educated and I have a lot of pride in the fact that I work so hard on these videos and filming is by far the easiest part of all this. Like making this is so much fun for me. Like I love it, but the editing that goes into it <clears throat> like after this video and there's gonna be a lot of it because this is like I've been recording for like an hour and a half all right <laughs> like it's it's pretty pretty intense uh, there's definitely gonna be some questions that were cut off or what I can do instead of like cutting out the questions I can split this video into two parts so maybe I'll do that <clears throat> maybe I'll have like a part one Q&A and a part two q and I I think that is what I'm gonna do because this is gonna be a really really long video. I just, this is like what I love to do. Just sit here and talk to you guys. Like, I feel like my subscribers are like my friends and I just want you guys to get to know me and to feel comfortable with me and to like watching me. And yeah, I'm just like, I just want to be like an open book on here. Like, it's so important to me to just feel connected as like human beings like I don't know in person it's so like in person it's like amazing but like texting and like everyone's always on their phone and stuff and it's just like so overwhelming sometimes and yeah like on YouTube this is the closest that it's gonna get to in person and sometimes like it's just like I'm so busy that it's just not possible so <clears throat> here is a way <laughs> excuse me I've okay so I have had this this like thing in my throat it's like a frog in my throat for the past like two months I got sick two months ago and it lasted literally like a month and a half and now like I, I have like a lingering like cough and like raspiness in my voice and I don't know why and like I never went to the doctor so like it's probably some virus that just won't go away and it's so annoying but yeah, that's why my voice like sounds like this. I don't even sound like this, guys. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to like be able to talk to you guys like my friends. And hopefully you guys don't hate me. <laughs> or like hopefully I'm just like not annoying. I'm just, this is like what I enjoy doing. This is like my, like if I had to wish to do something on my day off, this is like what I want to be doing. And yeah, I just get so much joy out of it. The editing part is seriously, like, so much work. Like, it is a full-time job. <laughs> like, it really, really is. Um, and uploading takes a long time, too. Because I have a pretty slow laptop and just, um, internet. Sometimes the internet just doesn't want to work. And it's very frustrating when you've spent all day filming and editing. What made you go vegan? So I was on Netflix, obviously, one day, and I came, I was like looking through the documentaries, and I came across something that was called Cowspiracy, 
and I read the description and I was surprised to see that it like wasn't about animals it was about the environment so I was like all right like I love anything that has to do with nature or the environment like education when it comes to that stuff um so I decided to watch it and um it was seriously like life-changing everything that they talked about in that documentary like I figured, like, oh, like, I already know what this documentary is about, because, like, I've read so many articles about, like, the environment and pollution and, like, all that stuff. No, like, this documentary tells you stuff that you have never heard before. Like, there is nothing, nothing like this documentary, and it was just seriously, like, so interesting the entire time, and, yeah, there's no documentary that I would ever recommend any more than this one it taught me so much about the environment and pollution and basically that animal farming is the number one cause of climate change and pollution and everything because of methane gas that the animals give off and blah 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 blah, blah. I won't go into it in this video but yeah it was just like really really <laughs> interesting and then after that I was so interested in it that I watched, like, the, um, suggested documentaries that were, like, underneath that one, and there was Forks Over Knives, and I watched that, and that's about the health benefits of, like, eating a plant-based diet, and that changed my life even more because I realized I don't want to eat anything that I've been eating for my entire life. What is something that makes you really sad? Something that makes me really, really sad, like, I don't even have to think about this, is animal cruelty. Um, I can't handle it. Like, I can't handle knowing that innocent creatures are being harmed on a daily basis and it's just looked at as normal. <clears throat> um, I it destroys me. It absolutely destroys me on the inside. And as you guys know, um, I'm vegan. And this was the main reason why I went vegan was because of the whole animal cruelty thing. Sorry, I'm drinking tea and I'm drinking it out of my husky mug. Do you like it? I'm like absolutely obsessed with huskies. Like obviously I've I've just grown up with huskies around me my entire life and I'm sure some of you know um, my uncle's dog Callie who is basically my dog like completely like totally close with her always see her um, I can't have a dog right now because I do still live with my parents so and my dad's like like really allergic to just fur so I can't have any pet or anything I've only ever had like a fish um, and it was like a fighting fish that like if it lived with anyone else it would just kill everyone so it's like what's even the point <laughs> but um yeah so Callie is my uncle's dog she's a Siberian Husky and I love her so much she's three years old and she's just my literal like everything like I love her so much but anyways um yeah so definitely what makes me really really sad is um knowing what I know about animal cruelty <clears throat> and I feel like there are so many people in this world that don't really know the extent to what goes on like behind closed doors behind factory farms behind like regular like small farms like people just don't get it um and yeah it um really really takes a toll on me. It absolutely destroys me every single time I see an animal being mistreated. Um, whether it be a dog, a cat, a pig, a horse, a bird, like literally anything. Like some people just think of animal cruelty as like on dogs, like dog fighting and like owners not taking care of their pets, but like there's so much more than that that goes on. It's so important for people to know what goes on. <laughs> but like I said, I'll go into this 
in way deeper thought and more put together in a separate video but animal cruelty is definitely what breaks my heart and um i'm so passionate about it and yeah so you'll see more videos about that in the future i wasn't planning on going vegetarian or even especially not vegan um i just like i my entire life i was obsessed with burgers like Oh my god, that's just like what I would order when I went out. And cheese and just like, uh, I don't know, I would I would just eat everything that like a normal American eats, you know what I mean? And like, I loved it. And I did that my whole life until last year. I've been vegan for a year now. And um, that documentary literally changed my life and made me never want to eat that ever again and I know that that scares a lot of people and it definitely would have scared me at the time if like I knew what I was getting myself into like I probably wouldn't have watched it but I am so glad I did so glad I did I can't even tell you guys how good I feel like health wise it is like a 360 I um I used to have really really bad stomach pains um, like, to the point where, like, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Like, I wouldn't be able to work or anything. And it would be after every single time I ate. And as soon as I went vegan, all that stopped. And I didn't have the stomach pains anymore. Um, I suffer from migraines, like, really bad. And I have my entire life also, like, since I was born. And I used to get those, like, once every month. And now I only get them, like, once every, like, I don't know. I haven't had one in, like, two months. But I don't know. It's crazy. I used to get them, like, once or twice a month. And now it's been, like, it's been, like, two months, two and a half months that I haven't had one. And I hope that I never get one again. But I would definitely, definitely say that ever since I went vegan, they've been, like, they they have not come as often as before so it's definitely a huge plus and plus like every time I wake up in the morning I just feel like so energized um I feel so good and like I didn't feel like that before I would just be so sluggish and tired all day and like I wouldn't be able to like go out as much as I am and like people are like like, people in my life right now, because recently I've been going out, like, excessively, and I will say that, like, I'll put that out there, um, but I'm just, like, I don't know, I'm, like, socializing and, like, meeting new people and stuff, and it's fun, um, but, yeah, I would not be able to keep up with the, 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 like, literally go, 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 go of my life if I was not vegan like people are like how how are you still like awake like how are you not passed out right now like how do you keep going and going and it's literally because of like what I'm eating I my body like loves me <laughs> like literally loves me and it's just like an overall great feeling because you know that you're helping <clears throat> so many different people like like people animals and the planet and just like on top of that, you feel great, so it's like, why would I ever want to go back to eating what I was eating before type of thing. So, yeah, I am, like, so happy, and it's, like, the best lifestyle I could have ever lived, I think. So, I'm very happy. That pretty much completes this video. I don't really have any other questions. Um, thank you guys for asking the ones that you did. If I didn't get to all of them. I'm sorry, but they're probably... <clears throat> I want to do, like, these videos, like, every few months. I, um, I kind of, like, incorporated my most embarrassing moments into this video, so I don't know. <laughs> whatever. It, it didn't really go as planned, but whatever. Hopefully it's still, like, enjoyable for all of you, and I'm so glad that you guys watched and... I don't know, it felt really good to just sit here and talk to you guys and have you get to know me a little bit more. Um, I think it's very important and hopefully you guys like me. <laughs> hopefully I wasn't too boring or annoying or anything. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. All right, let's try this again. I don't know what take this has been, but I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Every second counts. Sick intuition with moisturizing. But I am so I just dropped my phone. I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> uh.